think it's very in, important for people with dementia. You know, palliative care sounds like it's the last days or weeks, but actually from the get-go, when you have dementia, or when you have Alzheimer's, sorry, you know it's going to kill you. And you know that, um, you know that you're going along this journey and this path. So for somebody to know the person well um, and knows for me, it's important then, you know, to communicate when they can communicate with things that are important to them, you know, um, whether they want to stay at home or whether they want to, you know, I heard of a lady recently who has, I think she has four boys and, and she has written a list saying, you know, um, I, never put me in a tracksuit, um, my hair gets cut every four weeks, you know, things like this. And some people will go, well, you know, they're stupid little things. No, they're not stupid little things. They're, they're important to that person. So for me, this thinking ahead and this, you know, somebody interacting with you at an earlier stage or after the diagnosis as, as you're coming to terms with it, to, to, to get those needs and wants out um, and to have an advocate then who knows and can say to you, you know, this isn't what my, um, my parent, my husband, my, my whoever wants. Um, I think that's hugely important. Not always a nice topic to go into, but um, I know having done, uh, be, you know, looked at the forms and that they've taken me time and some bits are hard to go there with and, and hard to answer, but I certainly f have found it incredibly helpful to, 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 to get down right across the board, mentally, physically. For me, part would be how important my faith is into me. Um, that's, that's very important. I believe it's very, very important to um, deal with the legal side. So things like your um, uh, power of attorney is set up um, at a stage when you are able to do it. So somebody isn't taking over from you and dictating. Even within families we see, you know, where you'll have one member of the family going, no, I want them at home, and another member of the family saying, no, 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 they can't deal with it, putting them into a nursing home. Um, they're all incredibly important that you do them at an earlier stage while you're still able to um, speak your needs and your wants. Um, I know certainly um, the um, Irish Hospice Foundation, the Alzheimer's Society of Ireland would have a lot of literature and will talk you through and help you and guidepost and sign you to um, doing them. I think a living will is very important and, and putting down is basic well, you know, if, if, if you don't want to be dressed in, in, in a tracksuit, if you don't want to be um, resuscitated, you know, down the, down, down the line and um, even things of how you want to be buried, where you want to be buried. Um, tough things while you're still alive and living and you're, you're young. Um, but better done early, it saves the family in, um, I suppose, a very emotional stages um, where they have to make decisions and you won't always have the family choosing the one decision or, you know, mom or dad wanted this or wanted that. Um, I remember several years ago, my own mom um, uh, basically slagging off a funeral one day and saying, you know, it was like a three ring circus and I went, well, come on, let's sit down here and she thought I was stone cracked. But we wrote down exactly what she wanted. She knew exactly what she wanted. And it was incredible when she died then to be able to hand it to my brothers and sisters, all very different, and say, this is what mom wanted. Somehow it was because mom wanted it, then it was okay. It didn't matter whether they agreed with it or not. Um, and I think, you know, it takes that away from the family, it takes the arguments, the fighting. You know, it takes the, the, the need to do it when it's a, not a knee jerk. It's there and it's laid out. Um, but actually, it gives you a sense of power um, to be, it, it's tough, it's a horrible thing, horrible thing to have to do, but, but, but it gives you a sense of power and control in your own life that down the road when I have no control and I'm losing control every day, I still have, have an input and can have a say.